Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is a general purpose relay that's actually bad. So we're going to test the functions out, and uh, then uh, afterwards we're going to go ahead and connect it to our 24 volt transformer here. Okay. So first, it, the relay is disconnected and does not powered. So what we're going to do is we're going to read resistance on the coil. All right, the coil says 22.6 ohms of resistance. All right, I know to test this side because it's the lower side. All right, you see, if you see this right here, that's raised up, that's raised up, and then this is lower. The lower part always indicates where the coil is. All right, and if you follow the coil of wire, it actually connects here and here. So you know that these are where you check for your coil resistance. All right, you should have coil resistance. You shouldn't have 0, .0 uh, ohms of resistance because that would mean that that coil is burnt together. Um, OL over limit, that would mean that uh, this quill is burnt apart. All right, so uh, we're also going to check here and here as well. Um, it says that one and three are normally open. The wiring diagram is right on the top of this. All right, so we're going to test that out as well. All right, we should not have any continuity, uh, which we do not. And we'll check here. We should not have any continuity. Good. And just so you know, on this one, the uh, Terminals for here and here are, are non-existent on this particular unit. Um, so they're just saving a little bit of money by not putting these in, um, meaning Honeywell or whatever manufacturer for this particular unit. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and test it with 24 volts attached to it, and we'll see what we get. The contacts that are normally open... All right, they should be closing when you power it. All right, and if you have normally closed contacts, those ones uh, should be opening. All right. That's when 24 volts is applied to this coil because it's a 24 volt general purpose relay. They do have some that are 120 and 240 and 208. All right, so let's test it out now. Turn this light back on. All right. All right, so that is connected. So one and three are connected. Now let's test four and six and see if those are connected and they are not. Okay, four and six are actually uh, burnt apart uh, due to high amperage. This particular one um, actually is probably just high amperage for a period of time. Uh, I don't think that this had more than 12 amps running through it. All right, on here it does say 12 full load amps, uh, 120 volts. For the coil, uh, I'm sorry, for the contacts here, um, but I do not believe that that much was going through there. It just burnt out over time. Okay, the, the actually wiggle, um, so you know they're bad. All right, so you replace this uh, with one same part number or uh, same ratings on the rating plate. Make sure the coil is the same type of coil. So what I did with this general purpose relay is I just drilled out right here and right here. And what I wanted to do is I just wanted to show you how it was burned out inside. Okay. So here you have your coil here, and that's where this slide slides up and down due to the magnetism. And inside here, you actually can see some, some junk actually falling out of here a little bit. Um, but the terminals are actually so burnt, you can actually maybe see those spots right there. They're so burnt that it actually did melt the plastic on the on the face there. All right, so this looks like it happened due, due to over amperage. Um, see if I can pull this out or not. Yep. So that's what I wanted to show you. All right. And just some more burn spots right up there on the top. All right, hope you enjoyed yourself. See you next time at AC Service Tech.